it's time for another cute little applique project. I've had a lot of requests to make a little butterfly. <laughs> and I think this one is so cute. You can use it in a scrapbook. You can use it for applique on clothes, hats, whatever. Um, you can also put a pin on the back of it, like a safety pin, and wear it like a little brooch. I'm going to do one of those today, and all you need is a little bit of scraps. I have a bowl full of them right here. They've been piling up. Um, some beads, a little bit of craft wire, and that's it. So let's go to the craft table and make ourselves some tiny, cute little butterflies. In order to make our little scrap butterflies, that's all you need, some scraps. I'm using worsted weight yarn. You can use four ply, three ply, anything smaller, sock weight yarn, baby weight yarn. All you need is a very small amount. I could probably get four or five butterflies out of this amount of yarn. I'm going to use my favorite 4.25 millimeter hook or G6 uh, because this is a comfortable hook to use with that size of yarn. You're going to need a yarn needle with a fairly large eye, a pair of scissors, and the otter stuff. A little bit of craft wire. This doesn't have to be of any particular gauge. The super skinny stuff is just fine. A pair of needle nose pliers to clip it and manipulate it with. And some beads. I've just got um, some simple little glass beads here that I had lying around in my uh, pencil case. <laughs> so once you have all that, we can get started. We're going to begin with a slip knot. You can make a slip knot however you're comfortable. I like to make mine on my hook. There we go. And remember, you don't want it to be too tight or too loose. We're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. So there is five chains. And now we want to turn it into a loop. So you take your hook, put it through the first chain you made, and then slip stitch. So just grab your yarn and pull back through everything. And now you've got a little ring. Into this ring, we're going to do all of our work. So eventually, the entire butterfly will be worked into this single ring. Okay, to begin, we're going to chain two. One, two. And this is wing number one. Double crochet three times into that ring. So you wrap your yarn, go through the ring, grab your yarn to pull up a loop. So you've got three loops on your hook. Wrap and pull through two. Wrap and pull through two. There's a double crochet. Now you want to make two more into the same ring. So there's number two. And there's number three. Now we're going to finish the first ring by chaining two and slip stitching into the ring. So put your hook through the ring, grab the yarn and pull it through the loop that's on your hook. There you go. There's the first wing done. Now we're going to make the second wing. The bottom wings are going to be a bit smaller. So consider this the first top wing. So it's this wing right here. We're looking at the top of our butterfly. So we're going to make the first bottom wing. We're going to chain two to begin. And we're going to double crochet into the ring two times. So two double crochet into the ring. Finish the wing, we're going to chain two, one, two, and slip stitch back into the ring. So hook goes through the ring, grab your yarn, and just pull it right back through the loop that was on your hook. So that is top big wing and bottom small wing, one and two. Now we're going to make the next small wing. We're going to chain two, one, two, double crochet two times into the ring, one, two, 
finish the ring, finish the wing <laughs> by chaining twice and slip stitching back into the, the ring. So finish the wing in the ring. <laughs> I, <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, there's big wing top one, bottom wing two, bottom wing three, and now we have to do the, the last wing, which is also a top wing and a bigger wing. So we're gonna chain two to begin, double crochet three times into the ring. <laughs> One, two, and three. And to finish the wing, we chain two and slip stitch into the ring. <laughs> there we go. Those are the wings finished. Now we're going to cut a nice long tail of the yarn, so about 12 inches. Pull it through that loop to fasten off. So pull the whole thing through that loop, give it a nice tight tug. And now you're going to take your yarn and you're going to wrap it around the body of your little butterfly so that it bisects the two bottom wings. And when you've wrapped it once, pinch the top of your butterfly and just pull on that string so that it sort of squishes it. Then you're going to wrap it a couple more times do the same thing, give it a nice tight tug so that you squish it all together and then just wrap a few more times. This kind of makes it look like there's a little tiny body in the middle of all those wings. There we go. Flip it over and this is where you grab your yarn needle and you just run the yarn needle underneath all of the wrapped yarn Thread up the tail, there we go, and just make a couple knots just so you can secure that yarn in the back of your butterfly and it won't come undone. A couple of nice. Now if you're going to mount this butterfly on a pin, you can leave this tail for now and then you can sort of use it to sew the pin across the back of your butterfly and that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to leave that long tail. So there's the butterfly part done. You can see that there's the two top wings and the two bottom wings and there's a nice bit of shaping and that, that shaping is caused by the chaining and the slip stitching back into that center ring. So there you go. Now we're going to add his little antennae. You're going to snip yourself off a piece of craft wire, um, no more than three or four inches. You really don't need a whole lot, and most of this is just sort of for working, um, and you can, you can trim it off before you decide to put your beads on. But you want to have enough that you can manipulate it. So start with three or four inches, and you're going to take the corner, the sort of the end of it, and you're going to try and get it underneath the wrapped part of the yarn on the back of your butterfly. So just wiggle it a little bit and give it a little bit of pressure and it eventually it'll poke through the other side. And once you've got it kind of running underneath there, bend up one side, bend up the other, try to sort of match the two ends and then pinch it together at the bottom and try to pinch it as tightly as you can and you're going to spin them around each other a couple times just to kind of secure them into place. Just want to spin the whole thing around just sort of tightly secure it into place. There we go. And you don't want too too many but enough so that you can sort of manipulate your wires on the other side. So I'm going to unwind that a bit because I really don't need too many. Two or three turns is enough. There we go. And there he's got little antennae already. Now I'm going to feed on all my beads. On this little butterfly I used four or five green beads on each side and a pink bead at the top because I kind of like the way that that sort of finishes it off. So. I'm going to do much the same thing on this one. This one is a little bit bigger, so I'm just going to start threading beads 
green ones, or whatever color you choose, onto one side of the antenna. I'm going to start with four. And I think I'm going to do five. So five green beads, and then one different colored one up top. And once you've done that, you just want to secure the beads so that they don't want to roll off. So you take your needle nose pliers, take the end, and just twirl it into a tiny little circle. And I like to roll my circle all the way back down the length of the rest of the wire until it butts up against the edge of my beads and the beads don't want to move. There. Now I'll do the other side. There. And there are the little antenna on my sweet little butterfly. <laughs> now all I'm going to do is grab a safety pin and just sew a safety pin to the back of my little butterfly and I am going to pin that to my hairband. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how easy it is to make a cute little butterfly. Like I said, these are great little appliques. You can put them in scrapbooks. You can even turn them into pins and literally put them anywhere. <laughs> I think this is one of the sweetest ways to use up your scraps and it looks kind of neat when you mix it with other media like craft wire and beads. It really does look like a simple little butterfly. So that's it for today everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in and please remember to post the pictures of the little butterflies that you make on Facebook for me so I can see them too. You can also post them to me on Instagram at Jaden Stitches or Google Plus at Jaden Stitches. <laughs> I really love it when you guys post your pictures. It makes me really, really happy. And it's so cool what everybody does. Everybody does something a little bit differently with these little tutorials. I love that. Anyway, that's it for this week, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we will see you again really soon on the Jaden Stitches Show. <laughs> Bye!